Are you a crazy chicken lady? Or maybe you know one? Watch today's video. I have the perfect item to add to your egg gathering experience. We have a fantastic friend who claims that she is the crazy chicken lady. I don't know if she's crazy. I do know I am very jealous of her chicken coop. It is almost a Taj Mahal. It is fantastic. And she does such a good job raising her chickens. I thought that she needed to add today's item to her egg gathering job. I've seen this picture of an apron uh, that has pockets in it to uh, gather your eggs, but I could never find a pattern. But today I'm going to show you how you can crochet this apron. It, it comes complete with a dozen pockets to collect a dozen eggs. So let's get started. For the actual apron, we are going to make it approximately 24 inches wide by 11 inches tall. And I'm just going to do a basic double crochet and uh, it goes really quick so I'm going to show you how to get started. So I have my yarn. I am using just a cone. Um, I believe it was maybe Peaches and Cream brand but it's 100% cotton uh, just because I had it and I kind of like the way the cotton uh, makes a country look. Uh, so to start with a slip knot I wrap it around my index finger and thumb, do a little twist and pull up your yarn and I'm going to be using an eye size crochet hook so just chain until it is approximately 24 inches wide and then we're going to do double crochet so I'm just going to do a few here so you can see how to do the rows so I'll just chain 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine and ten and then we are going to do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook so here is one two and three we're going to loop over our hook one time insert it I like to insert it on the base row I like to insert it with both loops on top so we're going to do a double crochet so we just draw it back through loop it over again draw through two loop it over again, draw through two. So to do the next one, what I mean by like having two uh, loops on top of the hook, see here's the bottom of the chain. I go into the bottom of it with my hook, draw through, draw through two, draw through two. So do that all the way across. Okay, this is just a short piece, but to show you, so now you have reached the end of your chain, and again, this is approximately 24 inches is what we want to be working for here. So you did your last stitch, chain three, one, two, three, turn your row. This first stitch here the, um, is considered to be done already. You've already chained three, so that's going to count as a double crochet loop over and go into the top of the next stitch and we do a double crochet. So we loop over, we go into the top of that next stitch and do a double crochet. So you're going to continue that until your project is about 11 inches tall um, by 24 inches wide. Okay, and I now I have already done that piece so I am going to finish off and to finish off I just pull through, pull a knot and then I like to at that same point in time weave in my tail into the top row and hide your stitch. So here is what my finished base apron looks like. It is approximately 24 inches wide by 11 inches tall. I'm going to start the, the waistband by chaining 20 inches, which will be the tail, to tie around your waist. After I get 20 inches, then I'm going to join my thread and do single crochets across the top of the apron. When I get to the far side over here and I finish my last single crochet, I'm going to chain 20, single crochet back, and just go back and forth until we have the waistband height that we want. So to start with, like I said, we're going to chain 20. So we're going to start with our slip knot, and then we're going to chain 20 inches. Chain 
Okay, I'm just going to join with a slip stitch into that last uh, double crochet. So I just pull through my thread and I'm going to be working across the, the pattern in a um, doing single crochets all the way across. So to start with, I'm going to chain one so that I can get the height needed to start a single crochet. So a single crochet is you insert it um, without drawing the yarn over first, pull it back, pull it through two on your hook. Insert it, but you don't loop over first, pull back, pull through two. So I'm going to do this all the way across. When I get to the end, I am going to chain the same amount of distance. For me, I picked 20 inches uh, for my tie. So whatever you pick, uh, chain that same length on the other end. And then I'll show you what we do when we head back the other way. Okay, when I got to the end of my single crochets all the way across the top of the apron, I chained uh, the same length as I had started with. And so to turn and go back the other direction, we are just going to do single crochets. So in the first chain from the hook, you're going to insert um, and do single crochets back over to your apron. When you get to the apron, then we are going to continue and do single crochets back and forth until I think I want my uh, waistband to be at least an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter tall. So I'm going to do this and then I'll show you uh, how to continue on the actual apron waistband in, when I get over there. Okay, I have done my single crochets on my uh, waistband tie. And now I am back to um, the actual part of the apron. So don't even uh, skip a beat. Just continue with your single crochets. But now you're just doing them in the top of the single crochet on the row before. So like I said, I'm just going to continue that rhythm until my waistband is probably four rows high. The next step is to crochet the cute little pockets for the eggs. And so I've done two of them and I wanted to show you visually what we would be doing so that when I explain the crocheting it makes a little bit more sense. That I have crocheted a um, line that is about 10 inches long, 9-10 inches long. And we do, we're doing double crochet. And once you do your first row, then we need to mark the center and that is marking a stitch line and then we're going to half that so we're going to half the distance here and mark another stitch line and half the distance here and mark a stitch line so that's what these markers are those are stitch lines but we also need to mark in between the stitch lines with a marker to know that that is where we are going to be increasing our double crochets so that we can form the pockets. So the big picture is we are going to do double crochets. We're going to increase it straight up above our markers by an extra double crochet on each row and that will make a pocket. Then we will use a, a long needle and stitch it to our apron. So with that being said, let me show you how to crochet the pocket. I have finished my row of double crochets and you can see that I have little stitch markers in here. The safety pins uh, represent where I am going to sew them to the uh, apron to create pockets. The stitch markers, the little pink ones, those represent where I am going to increase the next rows so that we can make pockets. So above the stitch markers here, it's increased so that we can make, make uh, in, uh, pockets and the pocket will be able to hold the egg. So I have the um, row completed and to do that I just did not do anything other than fold it in half and put a safety pin. Fold it in half again and put new, two more safety pins. So basically you're creating four pockets, one, two, three, four, and we have five stitch lines. This one, one, two, three, and this one. So we have our ends and three in the middle. So now to do your next row, we are going to chain three 
and this is already counting as a first stitch so I'm going to double crochet in the next one and when I get above one of my pink stitch markers which represents in, an increase I'm going to put two double crochets in that spot. So we have two above the stitch mark. Now I'm going to continue over to the next stitch mark. So now I'm going to continue across to the next marker to indicate an increase. I don't do anything above the safety pins because that's just showing where I'm going to make a seam. And I'm going to get across. I have one more before I am on top of one of my pink markers. And I'm going to put two in that hole. Oh. There we go. So we have two above, approximately above. Okay, I'm getting ready to start row three. So I have chained three, and you're going to do the same thing just approximately on top of this uh, stitch marker, which indicates the increase. I'm going to put two double crochets there. So going to do that. I'm roughly on top of it, so I'm going to put two in that stitch. Yeah, let me show you what we have. So here this one has no increases. This one um, has the increase there and this one has the increase there. So just as long as we are getting increases on each row and we are going to do this for four rows total and when you finish it off, finish it off with a really long tail. So let me finish these uh, four rows and I'll come back and show you how we put it together. Okay, we're getting really close. So I, I've already sewn two of the rows on here, so I wanted just to pan a little bit to show you uh, the big picture. Okay, for this one I wanted three complete rows in between, and so I'm going to line up my center here and put a straight pin in that corner. And the same here, that I'm going to use the three rows on the apron as a guide and line up this outside edge and put a straight pin there. And now I'm just going to fill in the rest of it with straight pins so that I can create a straight bottom and remember the safety pin is a stitch line so I am going to line up the the stitching there I'm going to run a um, piece of yarn on a needle and so that's why I wanted a really long tail going to stitch up there going to stitch here here and of course I need to stitch on the ends so this is the tail that we left nice and long I just like using uh, just any old uh, yarn needle um, this one a longer one actually was a little handier but whatever you have and you just do a running stitch down the side using the same color you can't really see what your um, what your stitches look like so really no need to be fancy I'm going to turn the project so we can go the, on the bottom so now we're going to do the running stitch across the bottom but I'm only going to go over to the next safety pin And this is where we make our first pocket. So we're going to just do a stitch straight up. I think just for simplicity, I'll put a pin in there so that I know where I'm going to. So there we have our first pocket. Let me take out that pin. 
So there's your first pocket, and we need to continue the same process. Go down, over, up, down, over, up. So I just take my needle and just do a couple really big long stitches just to basically reinforce it. I don't like tails um, if you can avoid them by cut, since you, if you have to cut your yarn. And now you continue and do the same process. And so I'm going to do that off camera and show you what we have. I have my my uh, pins removed and my threads cut and I cannot even tell you how ecstatic I am over this project. I, I love how uh, cute it is and you know it, it could be a actually practical gift or it could be a gag gift for that uh, chicken lady friend of yours. Uh, but either way I love how it turned out. If you have any questions while you're making yours or if you have some ideas of how we can improve on this pattern please comment down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching DIY on the house.